mighty toolbox that we're going to be using. Now this PC is going to be having a 250 gig hard drive. Uh, it's a Hitachi. Uh, it's 7,200 RPM, which is pretty good. And here is the actual motherboard. It's not. Just ignore the box. It's not that. I just put it in there to protect it. I don't know if you can. That's not really in shot very well, is it? We can actually start the build, guys. Okay, so here's the fan. It's a Zeta. It looks like a really good fan. It'd be so good, but I just they freaking cut it, guys. but I actually had to flip the power supply around because the CPU cable, for, well it's power processor, was not going to reach anytime soon at all. Fair enough, this power supply was not meant to be in this case, it wasn't meant to be in a custom case. Um, but still, come on, you'd think they wouldn't just design it exactly to the specs of the case it was made for. You'd think they would give it a little bit of flexibility. Because even in the other case, it was absolutely just tight as hell. You could not get it out, really. So I'm having to mount the power supply again, um, upside down, really. It doesn't matter, though, because there's no fan that sticks out. There's just vents, really, on either side. So it's no biggie. I'm not missing out on any airflow or anything. It's just the text will be upside down, which is slightly annoying, but... <laughs> You know, it's fine really, as long as the PC works, I guess. Okay, now let's start the wiring again. <laughs> So this is what we're dealing with right now, I guess you could say. Um, all we have to do now is the power switch and the reset switch, I believe. Reset switch, power switch, yeah. Okay, so, power button goes there. As far as I know, it does not matter which way this one goes, you just plug it in. Reset, yep, right under it, okay. Alright, all those can get pushed in there a little bit more I guess and then I'm going to tie wrap them tie wrap them all together right, let's make them all tight first okay now all that's left to do is actually add the hard drive and we're not going to add any fans for now because it was fine without fans before. 
So we're just going to leave the Merlex cables down there by themselves, being all lonely and that. There's nothing else you can do from around this side apart from cable managed stuff behind there. Obviously I haven't done that because this is going to be one of those messy office builds. It doesn't matter really about that kind of stuff. So we can put this panel right back on. Alright, so I've actually gone and taken the door off. And it's not meant to fit this size hard drive, I don't think it is anyway. But we'll be able to make it work because basically if we just it'll only be in with three screws, but I mean well two would be good enough but three I guess is fine. So one, two, three screws and then to do now is basically put these back in the inside of the case like that with the hard drive on it's going to be really tricky I'm not going to lie so right. I have no idea how I'm going to do this Oof. and there is the second all right so this got to go on this side and then I need to wire it up which is going to be pretty awkward too but the door will actually still open and then obviously when I'm finished I'll screw it back down because we don't want it flapping around in the case because that would be no good would it? and there we go now ow, now the hard drive it's on his own little door thing really stable like you can tell it's stable because I can move the whole case it's not flapping around or anything it's going to be good um, the only thing I'm worried about is it might vibrate a little bit it's not going to cause any damage but it's going to be pretty annoying if it does vibrate Okay, and now the door just flaps back shut. Hopefully not squishing anything. Right. Um, I'm gonna have to put this on the other side. No, I'll just go get a straight SATA cable because this black one is rubbish. It's got a kink on the other end. Like it's good for certain builds. Don't get me wrong. But, right, oh, I've got plenty of SATA cables. We've got without kinks. I forgot to put this back in. Right, set to one, and then the hard drive, there we go. Close the door thing, Let's see my technical terms, the door thing. Right, um, what screws does this have then? It's just, these, will this do? Apparently. Not gonna lie, building in this case was quite a challenge, but we've managed to do it. Okay, now I've got to put the panel back on. It goes on like this. I don't know how anybody. Well, I can see why they haven't put fans able to actually go there now because, well, you just would never fit one. You would never fit one there. A nice editing rig. I know I had a rendering rig for a while, but uh, I don't know. I just didn't really use it that much as a rendering rig. As my main rig over there. So we're going to set it up and replace that, well this is the rig I used to edit uh, most of, well, RG Tech videos, Chris Vogg's videos get edited and uploaded from this, and this is going to be replaced with the one I just built. So this needs to get unplugged, and then I'll show you some benchmarks and stuff in another episode. Thank you for watching, RG Tech, signing out, goodbye.